Hey guys, how you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. And of course, autodidactic means to be self-educated. And in this world, it's becoming more and more obvious that we do need to be self-educated. Because if we're not, the only choice we have left is to believe what we're told. And that is obviously a big pile of crap. <laughs> so today I wanted to take another look at Spain and I found an old book from the late 1800s that shows some of the rather spectacular architecture that still existed and a lot of this still is in Spain. I did a video last night on uh, a place in Spain but this book shows some very very <laughs> interesting buildings with a lot of antiquitech stuff all over them and look at all these spires windows domes you know swinging buttresses it's just you know the stuff that's in this book is quite ridiculous really and very antiquitech -y. so i thought we would go and have a look at what was going on in spain in the late 1800s so, let us jump into this. So, I found this book and this is Spain and Barcelona. Uh, around 1870 to 1890 so we can have a look and see what it was actually like back then all right so to start with this is just a uh, countryside view it looks like a port but as you can see already these are man-made shorelines not natural back in the 1800s and you know tartarian buildings three four stories tall right on the uh, literally right on the edge of the water towers this looks like an old i don't know castle or something out there uh, this is a view now this is interesting isn't it? because there's not much there it looks pretty flattened these you know maybe newer construction uh but we have these big buildings in the background here and all this dirt Okay, now these look built. They don't look like they're under construction. Actually, this looks, they look a bit old, don't they? And a bit dirty. And they're all completed. So if they, because I was just looking, you know, they would normally try and say this is a building site. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. These are completely finished, buried, you know, and here, like meters buried. And this is the old stuff they're building. You know, they're not building, you know, they're building out of wood and tin. And we see this all the time. These old world buildings, you know, five, six stories high, solid brick, windows, all the things. And then we come along and build these ridiculous little shacks. And they try and tell us that they also built, you know, all this stuff. So interesting, you can see it's just, there's just buildings everywhere. Look at that one. Looks a bit flooded. And going down the hill here. A low window there, a couple of low windows. And just, oh, there you go, top of a tower sticking out of the hill. Looks like we've even got a bit of a wall here. And again, man made shorelines. So, yeah, looks like we're sort of just post mud flood here because you can see there's no trees, everything's been wiped out. It's just all flattened apart from the big buildings and clearly you can see the level difference here because if we get in on these buildings you can see see how you can see the tops of these windows uh, half in the ground because they should be that that height and see a few more here so yeah these are buried and this is the height Ooh, 
Oh my, oh wow. Okay, so here we look at this. So this again looks like something that they're digging out. Oh, there you go. See this wall? And we've got the gates, and you can see that's clearly lower on the inside than on, on the street level out here. So, I mean, is this a wall that used to be high and literally the mud's come up to that level and it's acted as a barrier and then they have, I don't know, they put steps in to go down. But, yeah, just completely flattened. Oh, well, bridge, look at, the, look at this architecture and, you know, construction here. And then next to it, they just put this old little wooden thing that's already falling apart. At the end, we have some Antiquitex still here. The tunnel archway down here. Is that because the levels were different? Looks like there's another one down there. Going into the ground. And that almost, that looks raised like a wall. So what's happening there? And then look at this, just completely built out. But again, well, there's a tree there, but there's not much vegetation. Is there? Look at that building. So this is all old world stuff. And man-made shorelines. These huge, you know, train station type buildings, maybe airship buildings. And then built up and look up and we might even have some walls up in there. So uh, what's under this hill? There you go. What's on top? Look at that. Always something sticking out the top isn't there. And again, you can kind of see, you know, little funny bits. They look like almost stairs. All the way down, just funny shapes, walls and things. So what's under that? But that's their cool buildings, aren't they? So this, this looks pretty much uh, not too much after the mud flood. So they could be 1870s. So yeah, this could literally be within... You know, a decade or two of of people being released back into the flooded world. Uh, this is just, look at this, tunnel straight through solid rock. And a solid rock bridge to match. And someone's built their houses down here. Look at this house. It looks like it's been swallowed up by the mountain. Not the best picture, but that does look a bit um, poopy, as Wooden Nichols would say. And this one too looks a bit buried, doesn't it? And again, you just get these funny wall bits everywhere. Like I said, not the best definition. Uh, not sure where that is. Can't read Spanish. But there we go. Yeah, so all this infrastructure, railway lines, bridges, and, uh, you know, perfectly carved tunnels into solid rock. You know, it's always all there. And they tell us these are made by dynamite. They just blow them up, but they always end up in these perfect shapes and a couple of interesting shapes here as well sticking out the top and here we have a castle of course um is that looking a bit low not really sure but isn't that interesting that the lower bricks they don't seem like they've been uh facaded you can see this is falling off here but these look a bit more rough, like they're a bit more natural, maybe. Uh, I mean, and look at the width of these things, all oh, brick. Then we have the facading, the rebranding. Of course, they're in their little, uh, you know, sort of brooch mirror type wreath things, showing the reflection. And then they've whacked all their statues in these porticos. Of course, everyone has to have their antiquitech, which they love to tell us is actually all about war. But is that part of the big deception? All this stuff is actually nothing to do with war. All these scepters and spears and lances and swords. I think they may have had a completely different function. And here again on these buildings, uh, these castles, we see these turrety, you know, round type towers. And again, these have got holes in them. But were these, you know, cooling towers? 
part of the tech. And I mean, just the way that these things pop out and everything, it's just so much work. It's so much, I mean, there's, there's having that is no benefit, um, you know, as far as militarily or in a battle, there's no benefit of having this here. For the amount of work that goes into putting it there, um, that's just, yeah. Story just does not match up. This, we've got our little uh, reset men in their hats and their black suits. Oh, looks like we've got a heap of them in there hiding. They're about to come out. Uh, I've got our little booths where they can go and change into Superman. Old world lights. And again, see these are popping out of the wall. Uh, where's the wiring? You know, they'll tell us these used to be gas and now they're electric. Well, where's, how'd you get the wires in there? Is that carved? Look at that. Looks a bit antiquity, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh my gosh, up here. Look at this. Wow, got our sunburst in the middle, uh, looking a bit je je Jesuity, and some shields, got the English lions, and I'm still not sure what all this leaf sort of stuff is, all this vegetation we see everywhere, are they representing, I don't know, uh, hallucinogenic plants maybe we, I sort of mentioned in my last video the Egyptian lotus and of course there's lots of psychoactive plants around uh, that apparently take you into different realms so I don't know is that part of this is that part of how they got into the realm Terence McKenna talks a lot about well used to when he was still around talked about mushrooms and he said that uh, if you were another civilization and you wanted to uh, contact a different civilization, maybe the best way to do it would be to um, have plants with like bits of tech in them, like spores. Are mushroom spores actually spores or are they tech? Because they can travel through uh, the ether, you know, they, they last a long time. And of course we have magic mushrooms. So is that some kind of device to get through the realms? Look at this place. Talk about Antiquitech. That's I mean and these these shapes again. It's always the same kind of shapes. They're four leaf, but we see the three leaf ones everywhere. We see this kind of design everywhere, and this, the top of the windows, that's, we see that everywhere. Look at the tech, it looks like they've got little onions on them, little balls. Are these, see how they come out, like they're a speaker or an amplifier. I mean, look, this place is just absolutely covered. Look at that. What, and in the background, oh my God. God, almost looks like, <laughs> look at all the antennas, look at them all, and this is what we're told is a Christian cross, right, again, is that tech, look, I mean, look, they're, they're all crosses, these ones are just uh, sideways on a side view, but they are all what we're told are Christian crosses, and look what they're on. I mean, look at this. That looks like what you see in, in like uh, Thailand and Cambodia with their sort of temples, but that's ridiculous. Uh, so, this is in late 1800s. So, this was built, and I don't know what the date they're saying this was built, but you know, obviously before the 1800s, and what kind of tech did we have there? Look at this window. There's a three leaf clover, that's an upside down one. Here's the same shape the right way up. Again, again. Oh, and look at that. So we've got up the right way and then we've got inverted. No doubt there's another one here. So as above, so below. You know, energy up, or energy down, energy up, and in the middle. 
And it's a concept that's been in my head lately too, this whole Starve David, there you go. Um the middle, what's in the middle? Ah uh, don't really know why it's popped into my consciousness. But this whole you know, the information and the good stuff's in the middle. It's not to do with with what's at the end. So as far as electricity and that and, and polarities, you know, you've got the poles and they might be the the driving force, but it's what's in the middle. You know, the energy and the arc that's important. That's what the fun is and the information and the experience. So it's a whole thing. Don't judge a book by its cover because the covers don't mean that much. It's what's in the middle that counts. Okay, so this is definitely Phoenician. Get the, the you know, the plant stuff coming out. And so this, you know, is probably all uh, retrofitted, you know, rebranding, refacing. Even this brickwork looks a little, maybe that's been added as a look because it doesn't look the best, does it? Got mortar joints in there, but I mean, look how old this building looks already now that looks like so this is one of these massive doors and they've actually had to cut a smaller door in it just because it was so big but look at this they've even got their own little <laughs> temple with the door up there i don't know these people look, look like they're fighting uh, then we have um, some dude up there and people praying to him. Angels on the side. Angels everywhere here now. Isn't that an interesting look? All these angels going up to the point here with their wings closed. And then, because this is the point. So this is like a pyramid. Okay, it starts off big and everything gets focused to this point. And this, is, again, is also uh, built like an amplifier, like a speaker, the way it comes out. And up, up the top here, what is that? There's someone, <laughs> there's some creature. See the little hands behind a bar and trapped in there somehow? Wow, is that the portal? Of course, this is here so that we all know that this was built by Christians, right? Now look at the roof here. I mean, just these angles, just these angles, the way they come in and they change direction and shape. That is very hard to do. That's just, just, I mean, you don't, you don't do that unless you have to. Let's put it that way, because the work involved would be ridiculous. And <laughs> What is that? Oh my gosh. So that's um, the temple. Okay, look at this Antiquitech. Look at that. Okay, going up the stairs, going up, building up to the altar. Right? What happens at the altar? What has been altered? And then, I mean, I don't even know what to say about this. We've got a massive chandelier by the looks of it. It's a bit dark in there, but look at all this facading and all these statues. And, of course, completely symmetrical. If you look at that, that's exactly the same as that one. That's the same as that. That's the same as that, like, like identical. Even the angles, everything, and see how that's built, angled in. Talk about making stuff as hard as you can. Of course, at the top they've put their uh, statue of Jesus, a few cherubim, and what is, it? and then all the portals. You know, these are all. Why are they always in porticos and portals and things? You know, this is. Again, what Martin's been getting into, you know, these people coming from, and and you know me, I, I've I've always looked at the archons, you know, and they they are definitely, and I've said it a lot, they're from a different uh, vibration, you know. I think they're just sort of same space, but just sort of outside of our uh, 
perceptions and, and what we can pick up. Uh, so the question is, how did they get in here? Uh, was it through these portals? And, I mean, just look at this stuff. You now they come along and they put their words here. And you can see this whole bit could have been uh, part of the refacing with their shields and everything. But look at the structure. Again, look at this roof. Look at that. Okay, so that is uh, like a cymatic pattern. Frequency. And these these three leaf, four leaf clover things. And look, they're actually turning, are they? Oh no, they're not. <laughs> look like they were turning. They're not. These ones do. See how that's straight down and that's not? That's on an angle? That's weird because everything's normally symmetrical. So they're up, that's the other way up. But they're all the same way. That's very strange. Wow, well, okay. I don't know what to say about that. Someone stuffed up. <laughs> ah, look at this. Is this all red brick? Yep, yeah, all red brick. And just everything just covered. Got the shells up here, someone coming through it. Uh, all built for the glory of God, apparently, guys. You just get enough time and enough unskilled peasants, and you can actually build anything like this. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Just the artwork and the finishes, like, it's everything. Even just the angles on this wall, that's just so much work. And and this is the thing, can this work even be done to this precision? Because this can't be, you can imagine if we're talking about carving this, which they like to tell us, it was, oh yeah, it was all carved by hand. Yeah, right, well one false move and you've got to start these again. But look what they can do without one false, you know, hammer hit. All this stuff, so... Yeah, I think that as well is old tech. There's no way they could have covered everything that perfectly. So it's probably all, you know, printed in some way. I mean, this is just silly. This is all the, this is that same, uh, all the same cathedral. Here we go again. The, uh, the two Antiquitech Bollard Tower things, we see, see these in fireplaces as well. And of course, you know, the pillars. Boaz and Jaquim. And oh my god, they love to let everyone know it's theirs with their branding, don't they? This is ours. We made it. Oh, but clearly you can see that could have been, you know, just retrofitted onto this wall. A couple of hundred years ago, and now we're told, oh no, that was always there. Again, this is another amplifier. Uh, what's that? Mary holding Jesus. Everything has to be about religion. And the double crowns with the lions holding the shield. Here we've got the scepter. By the looks of it, he's got just the scepter and he's got the coat of arms. Of course, showing all the Old world architecture they stole. And the lion is probably, you know, from the 12 tribes, lions of Judah and all that kind of stuff, uh, which is probably who they conquered. Because they love to flaunt that stuff, don't they? You know, it's like that saying, um, they will be arrogant. That's how you will know them. An old convent. Some old nuns back in the day. Oh, look at this old lady. And of course, you know, when we look at this, you know, how similar is this to uh, the way that Islamic women dress? You know, it's just so similar. Everything's the same. And it's also the same as, you know, the Berbers and all these people, but just without the colour. Look at this Antiquitech fountain. What's going on there? And... And this scalloping you see on the bottom of all of these, you know, what are they, you know, like reflection bowls, 
cauldrons, I'm not sure what to call them, you know, the flower pot looking things. Always got these sort of scalloped shape on the bottom of them. And as you can see, just a huge old world building. Looks like it's been retrofitted in maybe. Got the big arches and then you can see the blocks behind. Doors look a bit funny, don't they? Looks like there's been a wall. Maybe this is all mud flooded. This door looks a bit weird. And then tick would take up the top here. Wow, look at that one. And again, bells and the balls. Balls, balls. There we go. We've got our balls everywhere. But see, there's two bells. And we saw that in another pick. Um, I don't know what pick it was or what video, but yeah, I showed another one. And I um, was asking a question. Is did these originally have have the hammers in them, the gong bit that, that dings them, or were these just running off vibration, you know, getting vibration from the ether that was just giving them a resonance and a frequency, and they just sat there humming, basically. And because we see all the cracked bells everywhere, you know, were they just sitting there at a low hum, and then someone, uh, you know, something happened, the frequency changed, and they all cracked. Here we have uh, one of the old priests looking at his Antiquitech. He's got a cool little hairstyle there. He's left this little bit at the front on his third eye. And here we have a bit of Antiquitech. He's standing on a little pillar thing. He's got his fish head. And he's at the top of a crook. I'm not sure. But it could be, and that that that's a, a familiar look, um, you know, art on the facades. We see this shape everywhere, but it looks like the top of a crook, a shepherd's crook. Wow. Um, okay, that is that wood. I don't know if that's carved wood. I mean, God, if that's carved wood, that's. Again, could you even do that with hand, or is that rock? I mean, all this stuff looks like it's, you know, some kind of 3D printing. Yeah, okay, here's a lady. So, yeah, so I'm thinking that's a coffin. Some kind of coffin, or they call sarcophagi, sarcophaguses. Uh, in Egypt, you know, the big stone boxes that they tell us were coffins, in the uh, pyramids, they're clearly not, but this is a very ornate kind of version, a similar version of a sarcophagus by the looks of it. Uh, symmetry, I mean, we, how often have we seen pictures like this? Just perfect symmetry. And even just to get that built and lined up that perfectly is a lot of work. They don't even attempt this stuff today because it's just... Too hard basket. I mean, apart from the size of this place, look here, okay, so here we've got a globe on the stand, as we see everywhere, but you can't see it that well, but if you can look at that, does that look like the land masses of Earth? I mean, it just, they just don't. They haven't got the Earth land masses on them. And they try and tell us that's the Earth as a globe. And this is all carved wood, the inside of this. This is all wood. Another big ball. Uh, philosophy. Because that's their philosophy, right? They tell you that this big silver ball is actually this. Uh, there's another ball there. Okay, this is ball central. We've got a couple of uh, porticos on the side of people trying to get through. And this ceiling, look at it. Here we have another ball. Is it? Looks like a glow, maybe uh, the compass. Looks like there's balls and globes everywhere here. And some Antiquitech. Look at that. And you know what that looks like? That looks very sort of Egyptian, doesn't it? So, you know, all these pictures that we see that are Egyptian, are they actually tech? Because that, you know, that looks like some kind of tech, doesn't it? Like with a glass vacuum chamber in there, maybe? 
balls up the top here, antennas. You know, these three leaf flower looking things, you know, are they something different? It's just all been stylized. And of course, this we see everywhere. I mean, oh my gosh, this place is ridiculous. I wonder if this is all still there. Another one, look. And this again, uh, and now this one's all metal. Okay, so it could be Antiquitechi. And this is one of the ones that they tell us is about the stars and things. So there's actually no globe. It's just uh, balls, you know, and you get sort of three or four balls inside each other that's all spin around. And they go, oh, no, no, that's that's um, that's a, like a globe of the stars. And can you see what I can see? What's that? That is a double-headed Tartarian eagle that has been crowned. Look at that. Tartaria. Here we have a nice chandelier. Another bit of Antiquitech. And this is just... Um, the picture of a room and as you can see they haven't stolen much furniture for this one they didn't get away with much old world building just a couple of old chairs or not so old chairs but yeah they've obviously found a bit of the antiquitech and tartaria and here we go i mean <laughs> this is just the silly silly pictures you know we have Electric trams, we have these, uh, you know, four story buildings, you know, all symmetrically laid out perfectly, built to the highest quality possible. And people just wandering around and using horses and carts. And in the middle, massive water feature, of course, near the old world, are lights that we see everywhere. And look at all these tram tracks crisscrossing. And look, just old world buildings. Look at this baby. Actually looks like it's a flutter. You can see that window down there. Uh, Antiquitech, look at that. Again, bells. See? Ball? Bells. So is this picking up energy from the ether drawing it in uh, this ball is somehow uh, converting the like etheric or you know the etheric energy into mechanical energy which is giving this bell a vibration and it is obviously a speaker and it's pushing that vibration down into this building it looks like there's Maybe that looks it looks a bit funny, doesn't it? it? Looks like it should have a covering on it. Is this what was under all domes, and they've just taken the dome off, or inside those, you know, those capacitor-looking things? But this is the old world. There was just tech everywhere, and look at the just look at the way they build it on the angles there. It's just all perfect. So the streets are all perfect. And everyone just walking around not knowing what the hell's going on <laughs> using their horse and carts. Here it looks like we've got a little arc, arch, bollards, of course. Starting to see them everywhere now. And just, again, these lamps all along the street and lots of them. Look at them all. Uh, but how did they get the wiring in? So back then, they, they're probably going to say these were gas at this point. Uh, no doubt they're still there. And how did they get all the wiring in? Uh, so, I mean, this place is ridiculous. This is just, look at these domes. Here's one of those stylized capacitor type things. Big spire. Again, so, you know, that's the same thing. That is exactly the same as that. Slightly different, you know, stylizing on it. Artwork, but it's the same function. Here's another one. And, you know, two people mud flooded building and yet two people look at that <laughs> two people and of course look at this being pulled by lions 
fountain, water, and this baby. Antiquitech, by the looks of it, all built out and all there for these two lucky fellows, who are, of course, posing for the camera. Oh, now that, oh my gosh, that's quite a large building. I mean, and this is the kind of thing you see in, you know, France and England. These massive buildings that people um, steal, you know, these people who think that, that they have some kind of bloodline lineage that makes them a royal. And they just steal these buildings and call them palaces. But uh, look at that antiquity. There's the ball again. There's the cross. Oh, is that a clock? See the way those are coming out like a sunburst? But they do look like Roman numerals. Because obviously all these clocks they, that we see in all the buildings and the post offices and that, they weren't originally clocks. I'm not sure what that is. That kind of looks like a crown, doesn't it? Now, I'm not sure if this is the original. It doesn't look ornate enough, this this fencing, but it may be. It looks like it's metal. But you can see it looks like it's in a bit of state of disrepair. There's a sheet, sheet hanging out the window here. Uh, but again, you know, all oh, the cross is broken. So this looks a bit dilapidated, this one. But, uh, yeah, complete old world. You know, all the usual suspects. And a nice big copper statue to boot, of course, oversized and on its own big pedestal and surrounded by a metal fence. Hmm, metal, something in the middle, copper. You know, again, is that techy? Did they just make it all look really nice and multifunctioned? But what a building that is. Here's another one. And it's just getting the same everywhere, isn't it? Oh, there's a bit of antique tech. Look at that. Oh, actually, that's probably been added by the looks of it. To say, yeah, no, nah, all those crosses, they're not antennas. Uh, they've got to do with the religion. These sort of, I'm not sure if they're bowls or not, but they look a bit weird. Is this, is she being crowned? Yeah, okay. So that's what I thought I saw in that last picture. Uh, where was it? There, that thing. See this? How it looks like a crown. Uh, you know, the old world crowns that you see, and they've got like red velvet in them, and the, the metal's just like a frame. See that one? Looks the same. And a cross on top, so what are crowns? Looks like antiquity. Of course, we've got balls here. Facades, rebranding. And I mean, they can't. Why would you have two clocks next to each other? That that's pointless. So that these weren't originally clocks, and this one appears open. I mean, were they just open portals uh, with nothing? I don't know. Here's some more bells. And see, the bells have all gone away, haven't they? All the bells. You know, when I was younger, bells used to be associated with churches and things. Now they're not. Uh, what happened to all the bells? Why did they take all the bells away? That's got to be a big missing piece. Bells and balls. The bell of the ball. Hmm, interesting. But just look at that setup. Okay, you've got two obelisks with the balls. And we have... This is a square shape with a point at the middle, Mount Maru-like, four corners and a bell. Uh, repeated on this side, and then again two bells, and in the middle of the cross, which would have originally been the antenna. Coming down to an arch or a dome maybe. Got the two pillars here. I mean this, that's... That... <laughs> That's not just for looks, not just for looks. 
Oh my god, and look at this tunnel going straight in there underground. Holy dooly. Old world star fort walls with, of course, doors and windows going straight into it. And look at this baby. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's at least six stories at the front there. Dome. Here we go again. Antiquitech uh, <laughs> Antiqua antenna. On top of a ball that looks like a cross. Uh, and of course, all around the outside, around the outside. Antiquitech porticos. Like, I mean, it's just everywhere. Look at that. And of course, now it all looks metal. Uh, metal. Now it all looks stone or cement, like it's been covered up. So is this all metal underneath somehow? Or, or was it the stone that was working? You know, granite, uh, sandstone, crystals. I don't know, that's like, that's one big castle. I mean, just, um, ugh, the amount of work just to, just to get the, the foundation right for something like that is just, just ridiculous. And look, we've just got some outbuildings at the back here that are just huge. And kind of looking mud flooded too, isn't it? There's a few trees and things down here, clearly planted recently in lines. Oh, but up here there's nothing. This is a wall. Another wall. There's no trees or anything. And this is what they used to look like inside. And I mean, look, this is what. Look at. Oh my god. I mean. Just the intricacy and the work of that light fitting. And. Um, I don't even know what to say anymore. This is how, this is what they had. And this is the thing, like a lot of this, you know, when you start to see, you know, the same, you know, the angels, the cherubims and things, and the, and the sort of the wreaths, you know, it looks like the, the re facading. So how long did, did they have to re face all this stuff because here is his pan he's got his horns maybe some horned god which which wasn't part of our old world and I guess this is the next question uh, is this our realm or did we you know are we the reset survivors that we just plonk in here from somewhere else all the lions uh, which I said I think they, these represent people, just like the you know the Tartarian eagle represents peoples, uh, and they've all got their feet on balls, controlling the globe, uh, which most people think is the Earth, but it may be the power, the energy, the glory of God. Who knows? But look at that room. I mean, come on, and even the floor is just. It's not one bit that is done wrong, apart from that three-leaf clover I found that was upside down. Ah, uh, yeah, this is what you do. You build stuff like this when you want a bridge. Obviously, why wouldn't you? This is just ridiculous. Again, it's not the best contrast, but you can kind of see how covered these are. It's starting to buffer a bit. I mean, and what even are they? And it's just, I mean, look at look at these. They're just everywhere. It's got to be antiquity. And I mean, even the way they build it, there's no reason structurally to have these all the way along popping out. I mean, like I said, they just make this work so hard for themselves. And what's happening here? Looks like it's crumbling. Is that, I don't know, for... Has that been added? I don't know. Is this stuff not as old as we think it is? All right. Well, I'm going to leave it there, guys. Uh, we're only actually halfway through the book, but we're hitting the 40-minute mark, so I'm going to uh, close it up, and I'll do a part two, because it really is... Well, I'm enjoying the book. It's, I think it's pretty interesting, so I hope you are as well. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already.
And remember, his story is not our story. And so we do need to dig up the past and find what our true heritage is. And of course, the way to do that is to be autodidactic because self-education is the way forward. So thanks for spending some time with me, guys. I hope you have a tremendous day. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.